welcome to the second episode of the Smith Wigglesworth Devotional Podcast presented by Victoria Eok. Thank you for joining us for the second episode. Today we are continuing with the Smith Wigglesworth Devotional, 2nd of January. So let us start as usual with prayer. Father Lord, God Almighty, King of Glory, we thank you so much for all your grace. We thank you for permitting us to come today, Lord, to listen to your word and to be instructed to grow in you. So, Lord, we surrender to you and we pray that you open our minds and our hearts that as we listen to your word, that we may be good ground, good soil, so that your word will grow and produce fruits in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay, so today's message is entitled Equipped with Power. So we are going to rush directly into the Bible because we are we are going to rush directly into the Bible because we are basing this because these messages are based on the Bible. And anybody who preaches the gospel to you without using the Bible is not is probably not really preaching the gospel to you. So let's dive into Acts chapter 6, verses 1 to verse 10. Let's go. I'm reading from the New International Version, though some people will prefer the New King James Version or just the King James Version, but I'm reading from the New International Version. So let's go. Acts chapter 6, verses 1 to 10. In those days, when the number of disciples was increasing, The Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said it would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in others who wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom, we will turn your responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed great wonders and signs among the people. Opposition arose, however, from members of the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Jews of Cyrene and Alexandria, as well as the provinces of Cilicia and Asia, who began to argue with Stephen, but they could not stand up against the wisdom that the Spirit gave him as he spoke. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the key verse for today is Acts chapter 6 verse 3, which says, Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them okay so we see here that whatever the task that had to be done in the church you know and this one they were supposed like to attend to tables make sure that the widows would have the food that they are supposed to have now and etc but you see that no matter the task that had to be performed even if it would look minute to someone else or even if it would look like a manual task you see they still the requirement, the call, the key requirement was to choose someone full of the Holy Spirit and of wisdom. So basically, I I think you've noticed that at times in Christian circles like churches, organizations, etc. At times we choose people just like that. We don't choose based on the fact that they are even really Christians or the fact that they really walk with God, or the fact that they're full of the Holy Spirit. At times, you just choose people just like that, and then we are surprised when they do things really weird and strange. While the Bible gives us the standard, 
if I want to serve in church or if I want to serve in a Christian organization, I have to see like first my relationship with Jesus and to grow. Like I'm not saying that before you can serve, you have to be perfect. Like know everything that you think you should know what i mean is like before you appoint someone in a position of authority in church this person should have like a certain reputation in christ we should know that this person is growing in the lord and that this person is full of the holy spirit and it's the same for ourselves when we want to do something in church or in a christian organization we should not just go like like that like I will serve, but I don't have to focus on my relationship with God. No, that's not it. You serve out of your relationship with God, out of your your relationship with the Holy Spirit. The, the two go together. If you are not having a real relationship with the Holy Spirit, you will not be able to serve correctly. You will not be able to serve as God wants you to serve. You see what I mean? So basically, like the message here is not that you should not postulate to serve in church, but it is like when you are postulating you should you should make sure that you do not neglect your relationship with god because you you want like to show off or i don't know what in church no you have to grow in christ and it is out of this growth this relationship with the holy spirit that you have that at times you will not even suggest your own name people will see no this person is really walking with god i believe that this person would be right for this office and we see here that like even like the slightest task that had to be done the people were filled with the holy spirit and we see that stephen was not a pastor so to say but he performed miracles he 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 would speak and and convince people through the word of god you see and we from this we clearly see that you do not need to like have a title in church in order to be full of the holy spirit in fact it is the fact that you're full of the holy spirit which which should make people desire to give you a title in church but generally basically whether you have a title or not you should be filled with the holy spirit you should you should like in everything that you're doing we should see that you're walking with god that you're growing your relationship with god that you're serving out of the freshness and the beauty and the glory of the holy spirit so what god wants for us is that we should all be equipped with power just as Stephen was, it should be this way for every single Christian. This is God's will for us that we always should be full of the Holy Spirit and of wisdom and that whenever someone questions the faith, we should be able to answer with God's word, with God's wisdom and all the like. And we should never, 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 never ever forget that the baptism of the Holy Spirit does not mean that you can go around and do whatever you want. It goes along with holiness with purity with sanctification so that's like really the message of today so to say that god wants us to be equipped with power to walk in the holy spirit and to serve out of this fullness of the holy spirit so if you retain anything from this podcast it should be that you have to be full of the holy spirit and you have to serve out of this relationship that you have with god and that when you want to appoint someone for something important whether in church or in a religious organization or even in your own life like with your friends your relationships when you want to choose people to be around you choose people who are really walking with god because they're gonna they're gonna have a positive effect on your own relationship with god so that's what i had to say and so let's pray to end this session but before we go to the prayer i will end with the thought for today by smith wigglesworth when we please god in our daily service we will always find that everyone who is faithful in the little things god will make ruler over much matthew chapter 25 verse 21 it's a verse to read like which has to do with this okay so let's pray Father, Lord, God Almighty, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we we surrender our lives to you. We thank you because you are present in in the life of every single believer. And right now, Lord, Holy Spirit, we surrender to you and we say, take control, take control of our lives. 
take control let us let us just like surrender to you oh holy spirit we just surrender to you because we want to do your will and not our will that whatever we're doing lord that we do it out of your goodness out of your presence out of your glory not to show off but to to show the glory of the lord in jesus christ's name we pray amen okay thank you for listening thank you for being available this was day two of our podcast i hope you are going to join us tomorrow so if you are listening on any podcast platform please just subscribe so that you won't miss any new update and if you're listening from youtube please subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you enjoyed it and please don't forget to share god bless you bye bye